two, three, fuck it. Good afternoon guys, it's Garrett and today I'm going to guys a tutorial on Illustrator going over the tips and tricks of image tracing. So basically on the screen right now is an example of how image tracing works. It's going to image trace the uh, lighting and shadows and stuff like that of your image. And uh, you guys have a bunch of ranges of things you know you guys can do coming from uh, you know picking out certain colors, having a certain amount of colors, using certain lighting, you know line art, everything like that we're going to be going over in today's tutorial. If you guys want a separate video on how to illustrate your own portrait like this please let me know in the comment section below. I would actually love to do that for you guys. So here's an example of something that I personally did for a school project and uh, it's not very good but I did this just as like a quick thing like a couple hours I worked on it and I used the same concept to just image trace the whole entire thing found where the lights and shadows were and just kind of did that so basically this is gonna be the image we're gonna be working with and I'm just gonna delete it and paste it back in so we start with the fresh one so what you guys want to do is just open up illustrator and basically just paste your image in and it doesn't matter what image you actually use though it's very useful to use an image that has, you know, lighting coming straight into the middle just because it creates a better um, project and a better, you know, size of everything like that. If you guys have the lighting coming from like the top angle and hits like the side of the forehead and lights up only like this side, then you're gonna have a really big issue. And even if the lighting is coming from the bottom like a flashlight shining up on the face, it's gonna look a lot different than if the lighting is straight on. So personally, in my opinion, if you guys wanna do a portrait of yourself, then please get a picture of lighting that is pretty much straight on the face just because it's a lot easier to understand and it's a lot easier to do this image tracing stuff. So once you have this image just pretty much posted into your document, into your file, all you want to do is just click it so these little blue lines come across there or whatever color that you guys have selected and then go right here to the top and then you guys are going to see image trace. So image tracing in all is basically taking out you know big blocks of light, big blocks of shadows, big blocks of color, everything like that, and creating you know the most minimal thing possible. So if you just click on image trace, the first thing that's gonna happen is it's gonna make it black and white, and you see this really light up stuff is gonna be shown, and the black is gonna be black and stuff like that. You know it's not too fancy, but of course if you want a style like this, then it'll work perfectly fine. So. What we're going to be working with actually is going to be the arrow right here. So there's going to be a drop down arrow and then you guys are going to have a bunch of presets. You know, high fidelity photo, low fidelity photo, three colors, six colors, 16, shades of gray, black and white, sketched art, silhouettes, line art, technical drawing. So basically we're going to go over all of these and I'm going to apologize now guys. I am using Camtasia to record. So I'm going to be using a lot of my CPU just for that. So some of these things won't load, you know, instantly like they should. But if you guys do not have a good processor or computer, things take a little time to load with Illustrator, especially because of the anchor points, and especially because of the lines. So just give it a little bit of time. It might take you know a couple seconds or something like that to load. So don't get all kind of you know worked up because something's not loading right away. So let's go straight to high fidelity photo. We're gonna go straight down the list. And once you click that, it's gonna do a little progress saying initial pixel clustering. And that's basically gonna work your picture together, make some paths going on, and kind of make everything work together. So once it's done, it's going to have a little curve fitting. Now the progress is going to take about three or four times to go through. And then you guys are going to have this outcome. And you guys might not notice any difference, but if you take your magnifying glass and zoom in, you can see that the little lines and stuff like that are actually, you know, blocks. And uh, it basically just takes it and makes it like a it's kind of like a mosaic, if you guys understand that. And uh, if you guys zoom in, you know, you can see the... Uh, little lines and stuff like that and it's really good if you want to guys want to get really technical with your coloring and really technical with your shading because it's a really dope thing colleges will actually love it if you guys can do artwork like this and that's just one thing that you can do and now if you guys want to change it you guys can actually just change it by just clicking on it again and going right to this little arrow right here that says preset click on that and then you guys can go like low fidelity photo so low fidelity photo actually does almost the same thing except for it's not going to be such it's like so many pixels and so many kind of shapes it's going to be the most minimal thing possible it's going to keep the color that it originally was and create you know those big shadow shapes those big lighting shapes and create everything like this it looks really really dope the hair looks dope the forehead the eyes everything looks really sick and if you guys can use this into your artwork it's going to be a really big play inside of everything of course there are more things there's three colors six colors 16 colors that speaks for itself if you click on like six colors it's going to do that little progress bar again and it's basically going to break your work into six colors that they think works best for this and it works for three colors as well and also 16 colors and uh basically if you guys were doing this in you know illustrator making your portrait you would just block out these big highlights and big shadows and stuff like that 
And of course, guys, if you want a tutorial on how to do that separately, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to do that. I just want to pretty much show you the tips and tricks of Illustrator showing off the image tracing. So now you guys have that. I'm not going to go through all these 16 colors, but now you guys can go with shades of gray, which in all is basically like another black and white filter for your photo. And if you guys can see when it's done loading, it basically does uh, pretty much the high fidelity photo and then makes it black and white. So it has those big shapes of grays, whites, blacks, stuff like that to create you know, those nice contrast and highlights and stuff like that. So it's the same thing, guys. You pretty much want to click through all of these. I'm not going to go with the logo, but you guys can go like sketch art. You know, you've seen that before. That's the first thing that happens if you click on it. Silhouettes won't work with this too well. You guys can go like line art and stuff like that, which doesn't look good at all. And of course, there's a technical drawing, which is basically the same thing that looks a little bit more awkward. But overall, guys, I'm going to put it to 16 colors. And um, you guys can use this literally for anything. And it's a really good tool, of course, for making these things pop out, making these things work. So for an example, if you guys want to make this into like a portrait, and you guys want to do like, let's say one of the eyes, you, what you do is basically make a new layer, click eye, and then click right here in the brush set. And uh, you guys can use, you know, your pen your tablet and stuff like that um i'm using just my pen tool and you basically just kind of block in those big shapes you know all that kind of stuff click i click b again and then it'll go throughout here and you guys basically do that you know you hide this you go back and forth and then later on throughout your project you guys will actually have you know the whole entire thing done so that's going to be a really long process guys and sometimes i don't like working on 16 colors myself sometimes i usually break it down to six or three especially when i worked on that one project for school i only had a couple hours to do it so i put it on six colors and three colors and i just worked back and forth so you guys can say that this is a lot easier to use there's not so many colors that are going to be used and now uh, you guys can make a big palette you guys can just click i click b after that and you know you guys can just pretty much block in you know the color and the cool thing about illustrator is when you're coloring the same color on top of each other it actually creates a uh like a darker feel of it and uh, you guys might not notice it right away but once you guys get used to it and start getting into the drawing you guys will notice it tremendously so this is actually used a lot for artwork a lot of um big shadow shapes and big lighting stuff like that artists use this a lot of vector illustrators and portrait designers use it even if you go to Google and type in, you know, illustrated portrait, let's see what pops up. So yeah, you guys can see this illustrated portrait. It's the same thing, guys. He used geometric shapes to do his, you know, this is a cartoon one, so that doesn't really work out too well. She probably used different colors and you guys can understand, you know, is this guy used three colors. He just made them big and blocky. And of course, guys, everything works like this in the same way. So it's really something cool that you guys should know and you guys should get used to. And uh, once you guys get a hang of it and you guys can start creating your own portraits, you guys can create a huge portfolio project of all these for yourself. So guys, this is all in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on creating your own portrait, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to do that. It's going to be a very long tutorial, so you guys are going to have to give me a couple of days to make it, edit it, and upload it, of course. So... Thank you guys so much for 11,000 subscribers. I really can't mean it, guys, enough that you guys have subscribed to my channel just because of what the videos I make. You guys enjoy the content I make, and I just appreciate all of you for that. So, if you guys want to make this yourself, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys go ahead and don't even need a tutorial and you guys want to go ahead and make it yourself, of course, message me on Twitter, email me some work in progresses and stuff like that. I'd love to see it. And overall, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry not it's a big tutorial, but of course, it's always nice to know image tracing instead of Illustrator and those tips and tricks that you guys should all know because it's going to help your artwork tremendously. So it's been Garrett, guys. Thank you guys so much for 11,000 subscribers, and I'll see you guys later on. Peace out.